Where does the reputation of a vampire ascribed to Vlad III, Prince of Wallachia, come from? That is the long question for a very short answer. There's a new study out there that basically says this reputation might have come from a disease that uh, Vlad III might have suffered from. And this disease is known with the term of emolacria, and basically it just means that um, the tears of the prince might have been made of water as well as blood. Emolacria is exactly that, it's exactly the disease that makes you uh, or makes your blood come out as tears, in the form of tears. Now the search is Italian, is published on an international uh, journal, um, an international chemical journal, so a journal um, about chemistry, uh, where all the proteins um, of uh, specifically three letters were examined. And yes, the proteins might have belonged to somebody else different from the prince, like some of his collaborators, um, it is possible to assume, so we don't know for sure. But the prince had been suspected to suffer from um, porphyria, and porphyria is this disease that makes you intolerant to light. And um, at the time, porphyria was cured um, by drinking um, animal's blood. So if we combine together the picture, we might get an understanding that um, orientatively and allegedly, because we cannot be sure, the prince might have suffered also, or maybe only um, from emolacria. Anyway, this is an interesting research and it deserves it um, to be known and that is my job. So with that being said guys, let us know what you think. Is that possible? Do you believe this type of research? Do you think it's um, too much um, not entrenched in uh, factual facts that somebody can verify because this, this protein might have belonged to someone else or do you think that it's feasible? Let us know, comment below, if you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you don't know exactly what um, Prince Vlad III did, go and watch the video on um, Vlad III.